Welcome to our screencast about our project Light Embankment Piling in Plexis 3D. The background of the project were a rebuild of the road uh, 685 between Vibin and Skogso in Boden municipality. The reason for the rebuild were a large settlement due to sulfite soil, soil underlaying the road. The new embankment were founded on wooden piles. The road section has previously been studied in a master thesis by Per Gunvard. He focused on the pile pattern, triangular and square, and the space in between piles. This work was also done with the help of Plexis 3D. Our project is based on his work and models. We have used his models and modified them to be able to compare the results. When roads and railways are to be built on soils with high degree of compressibility, light embankment piling with wooden piles is commonly used, especially in northern Sweden. First the top soil is excavated, thereafter is wooden piles driven into the soil. The spacing between the piles is prescribed by Trafikverket to between 80 to 120 cm. No pile caps are installed, but two layers of geogrid is used in the lower section of the embankment. This is to transfer the loads to the piles. Sulfate soil is present along the coast of Botnia and consists of fine-grained sediments. The soil has high water and organic content and is very soft and causes large sediments. The photo shows road 685 before it was rebuilt. Sediments up of up to 2 meters occurred in some places. The investigations will be performed in the finite element software Plexis 3D. This software is used in three-dimensional analysis for deformations and stability in new technical engineering. The user has the ability to describe the soil behavior by introducing constitutive models, which, be de which will be described in the next slide. One of the advantages of using Plexus 3D is the ability, ability to simulate the triangular pile pattern and comparing this to the square pattern. There are different models that can be used to describe the soil behavior. The material models used in this project are the more column model and the soft soil model. The more column model seen in the upper right is based on linear elastic to perfectly plastic behavior. This model is one of the easiest and well-known models used in new technical engineering. Since the model is perfectly plastic, the yield surface will be fixed. In other words, no soil hardening or softening due to the use of constant stiffness. The more column model will be used to simulate the behavior of the bottom till layer. The model used for the sulfide soil is the soft soil model, seen in the lower right. This model is more advanced compared to the more column model and is used for highly compressible soil. When using the soft soil model, the user has the ability to define the stress-dependent stiffness and changes that changes with depth. The model also has the ability to simulate soil hardening and softening. One of the disadvantages when using this advanced model is the requirement of advanced input parameters, which is often uh, gathered from field tests. The project is divided into three different parts. The first part will investigate the behavior of the soil when the geogrid is removed and floating piles are used. This can be seen in the left figure. The second part will investigate the soil behavior when the floating piles are replaced by the point bearing piles. This is accomplished by decreasing the thickness of the so second sulfide layer. It is also important to note that a geogrid will be used in this part. The model can be seen in the figure to the right. The third part will investigate the soil behavior when the point bearing piles are used but the geogrid is removed. The performed calculations showed that the floating piles, or friction piles, had larger settlements than the point-bearing piles. The use of geogrid proved to be of little significance for the displacement. Friction piles without geogrid settled slightly more than the models uh, which used it. For point-bearing piles, no difference was found. However, the theorized arching behavior sought for in the basal reinforced pile in the embankment was not apparent in any model computation, as can be seen by, uh, in the fig uh, figure. The point of stress arches is to reduce settlements. That means that the displacement results might be inconclusive.
As mentioned, the models which used friction piles settled more than the ones who used point-bearing piles. This was shown in all cases, even when comparing triangular and square pattern design. Embankment piling is an effective method for reducing settlements, which has been shown both empirically and numerically. Also, as mentioned before, Triangular and square pattern design shows no difference in terminal displacement in the embankment. The numerical analysis also revealed that the use of geogrid might not be important in this type of embankment construction. However, it has also shown that uh, no apparent arching of the principal stresses was computed. As such, new analysis might be needed to confirm these results. Thank you everyone for listening. Bye-bye!